also determine the truth value of a compound statement for a specific case uh, without constructing an entire truth table. If we know the truth values of the simple statements, all you need to do is substitute the truth values of the simple statements into the symbolic form of the compound statement and use the appropriate definitions to determine the truth value of the compound statement. For instance, for example here, the bar graph shows the distribution of looks for American men and women ranging from homely to strikingly attractive. This is homely, plain, and then this color is for man, and then this yellow is for women. And then we have here average, a lot of people, just looks average, good looking, and then few are strikingly attractive. We want to use the information in the bar graph to determine the truth value of the following statement. It is not true that 1% of American men are homely and more than half are average. Or it is not true that 5% of American women are strikingly attractive. Now we begin by assigning letters to the simple statements. Now as always, we let these letters represent statements that are not negated. P is used to represent 1% of American men are homely. And this statement is true from the graph. And then more than half of American men are average looking. Now this statement is also true because 59% of American men are average, which is more than half because we know that one half is 50%. Now R is used to represent a statement 5% of American women are strikingly attractive. This statement is false because 3%, only 3% of American women are strikingly attractive. So to answer, we just have to substitute the truth values for P, Q, and R that we obtained from the bar graph to determine the truth value. So this is the compound statement in symbolic form. We have not P and Q or not R. We will substitute the truth value obtained from graph. We know that P is true, Q is true, R is false, so we have not false. Then we will use the definition. We will replace here with true because we know if we have an and statement, if both statements are true, then the statement is true. So we have, we will replace the one inside the parenthesis by true, and then we will copy the rest. We will use the, the definition for negation. So if you negate true, that means false. If you negate false, it is true. Then you're left with F or T. So if you have a disjunction, if you have an OR statement, you know that the statement is true if one of the statements is true. So we have false true, so one of the statements here is true, therefore the statement here is true.